welcome back to Tea Story. In my last video, I introduced you to one of my favourite regular teas, uh, June Chiabari Nepali Spring. And if you don't know about that tea, then I recommend going back and having a look and finding out after this. But in this video, I'm going to have a first, uh, right here in the video. And I'm going to try my very first yellow tea. So, I hadn't heard of yellow tea until fairly recently, but um, I have been drinking a white and green and oolong and black and pure teas for five or more years. So why is that? And the reason is that yellow tea is very rare. It's only grown in two provinces in central China, in Hunan and Anhui. And I haven't been to either of those provinces. And even when I was working in Shanghai, the matter of yellow tea never came up. But I've been uh, lucky to source some recently from uh, Mayleaf in Camden. And so this one is the, um, the Amber Mountain uh, yellow tea uh, from Camden. So what is yellow tea? Well, yellow tea has undergone an extra processing to green tea. So green tea is, is withered and then rolled and then dried. And yet um, yellow tea, having been uh, withered and rolled, undergoes an extra process where it's covered with a damp cloth and they're left to do an enzymatic oxidation for up to a day before it's finished by drying it. Uh, yellow tea is uh, apparently quite delicate, so I've been instructed to use quite cool water in the 80 degrees uh, C temperature range to make this tea. Um, it can be made apparently in a teapot or a guy one, although I've read that making it in a teapot usually results in a, a lighter, more fragrant flavour, whereas a guy one can result in a more thick, uh, rich flavour like a green tea. So I've chosen to go for the teapot method today. It is, uh, it is a little bit greener, a little bit yellower, than many green teas. It's not very rolled and there don't appear to be many tips. The smell of the leaves is not particularly strong. It has a slight licorice smell in fact. So I'm going to scoop some into my teapot and then make this tea and let's see what we think. So I think the first thing to notice is this is a, a, a good colour, quite a yellowish colour. A little bit cloudy, um, not that dissimilar to the, the Jun Chiabari in Nepali Spring I looked at last time actually, in terms of colour. But in terms of smell it is completely different. Oh wow, it's got a very a sweet smell, a slight honey, honey smell but also a very vegetable smell, more like spinach. I think it has uh, some flavours in common with Japanese sencha tea. A, li a little bit of a marine flavour undertone. As well as quite a, a spinachy, grassy overall flavour with a, a sweet taste. But the sweetness isn't um, sweet like honey, it's more sweet like dried fruits, for example. As for the wet leaves, uh, let's get them out and have a look. Oh wow, the inside of this pot smells wonderful. I think it would be worth actually trying the stronger brewing of this tea to try and get even more of these flavours out of the leaves. So the, the wet leaves are really yellow and they oh, they just give off a really sweet smell. A little bit grassy, like sweet grass. And uh, I'm not really used to so many uh, tea leaves giving off such a sweet smell. As for the leaves, they've gone an even brighter colour compared to when they were dry and they've swollen up a bit and opened up. And you can see that this particular amber mountain is, uh, the leaves have been broken either through the rolling process or some other process. So what's my overall impression of this tea? Personally, I think, I think this is great. Um, it really makes me interested to try more yellow teas to find out 
what uh, this one has in common with other yellow teas and what uh, are going to be the typical characteristics of the yellow teas. Um, luckily there are a few more around, so I will be looking to source a few of those very soon and hopefully do some comparisons. So it would be great to hear whether or not you're familiar with different yellow teas, whether you like the Amber Mountain tea or whether you prefer a different one and um, how you feel about uh, green tea versus yellow tea in the comments below. And if you want to try more teas with me, then do subscribe to Tea Story and like and share this video. And um, see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye.